guys what's up welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back to my channel in this video I'm doing it a little bit differently um, I'm just gonna be showing you the products um, talking about them for a minute and just moving on this is filmed later in the month I've been really busy I want to get it up sooner but I guess better late than never so anyway we're gonna start with the base box which is right on top so I'm gonna open it up and when you open it this is what you see and pull the paper off and then inside is the boxycharm card it's the boxy spring revival and then on the back of the card it just lists all the products that i received in the box the prices and a description so to start it off the first thing i'm pulling out is the anastasia beverly hills foundation this was a custom pick for me i mentioned in previous videos that i wanted to try higher end foundations and I'm so happy that I'm able to through BoxyCharm. I don't have to actually pay full price for the product. Um, I am wearing this foundation right now. I've had it on for, I think about three hours now. And so far it's sitting nicely on the face. It was easy to blend out. It is a medium coverage foundation. Um, it is kind of buildable, but it does sit nicely on the face and I love the pump i love pump foundations better than the stick i also feel like they're a little bit more sanitary than the actual like wand this retails for 38 dollars so i mean already the box is paid for so next i'm pulling out the stelia glacier clay cleanser i have not used this yet so i'm really excited in the future to use it um off the bat i love the packaging i don't know how well you can see it but it's this beautiful marbled like packaging for the bottle um I again i haven't opened it it has the sealant in it or the seal or whatever um but i'm excited to use this it says this retails for 45 dollars um it helps to remove makeup it said so that's pretty cool the next thing i'm pulling out is the studio makeup hyaluronic acid rejuvenating serum i use this today i did like it it went on the skin a little bit tacky um, it wasn't oily and it dried so it didn't leave that sticky oily tacky residue that's somebody behind um, but in general i have oily skin so i can't really be using products that's just going to make it oilier especially when wearing makeup but this actually worked really well it feels like really good high-end like quality i really liked it so far and i did use it before applying my makeup before applying the foundation so I don't know i'll just maybe in a future video i'll give you an update if i remember but this right here retails for 45 dollars and honestly i don't feel that that's bad the next thing i'm showing you guys is the lash smack lengthening mascara item by addison ray i believe i was excited to get it i actually for may's box was going to pick her concealer i wasn't able to pick the concealer out for next month's box just because I was late to the boxy choice thingy in my box. <laughs> but yeah, um, I like getting mascaras. I'm not mad about it. I actually have or had, I threw it away because I used it, but cannot get it out. But I had a mascara that I believe I received in a boxy charm that was pretty similar to this packaging. But I love the ombre blue. I'm not gonna use it right now, but in the future I definitely will. This retails for $15. So not too bad. I feel like it's in the middle between your drugstore and your high-end mascara. So honestly, I'm not upset about it. And then the last thing that I got was this Lucky Chick liquid eyeshadow. I'm wearing it right now. If you want to see the look that I did, it'll be in an upcoming video that I just filmed earlier. But I love it. Um, I love the way it applied. It's sitting really nicely on my lid right now. The applicator is plastic. Um, I don't believe that it's meant to apply and blend the product I think it's just meant to strictly apply and then I just use like a flat headed brush to blend it out but it's super beautiful super metallic -y. I think those are my favorite product in the box second comes the foundation and yeah so I'm really happy about this this retails for $22 so not too bad I'll put across the screen what this box is worth and now we're going to move on to premium here is my premium box we're going to open it up and that is what you see when you open it again the card it looks just like the base box 
on the back is the list of the products that I received. Um, I don't exactly remember what I chose for this month's box. I think it was skincare, to be honest. Yeah, I swear within like last month's boxes and this month's box, I've in total received probably like eight skincare items in total. So I don't know, but anyway. The first thing I'm pulling out is the Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo, Duo, excuse me. I don't mind Duo things. I don't mind multi-use products. Um, I did receive a Natasha Denona eyeshadow. That was like my first product. An eyeshadow palette, excuse me. That was my first product I ever received from her from BoxyCharm and I loved it. I used this today. Um, I did like it. It was a beautiful shade. The highlighter was pretty. It was subtle, buildable. I love that. I didn't mind it at all. I was really excited to get this. This retailed for $42. So I think this might have been one of my choices. I could be wrong, but I'm going to say it was. So this is the Herbivore Botanicals Bakuchoil retinol alternative smoothing serum this right here retails for 54 dollars but i think this is what i chose so it was a retinol alternative smoothing serum i didn't use this today it says it's a plant-based serum that smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles so i like that i like this purple color that's really pretty so i'll just have to try it out again i've been receiving a lot of skincare I don't hate it but I just feel like it's overwhelming and I just can't use it all right away so this was a little bit messed up but this is the Murad um, clarifying oil free water gel so I don't I think this might have been the other item I picked out I could be wrong I think yeah I think this month though or for this month I picked out two skincare items I kind of like the way this looks it's kind of cool I like the pump um, again, I have not tried this, but this right here retails for $46 and it says it's a gel moisturizer for oily and acne prone skin. The next thing I got was this Mitchell and Peach English Leaf Body Oil. I was kind of excited about this. I haven't used it yet, um, but I thought it was cool. I love this glass bottle. So it's like really good quality. This right here is $88, which is crazy. It doesn't really have a smell. I personally would not pay that much for this, but we'll just see how it goes. The last two things in the box that I got were makeup um, or makeup related. So this one is the My Beauty Brand by Me Black Liquid Liner. I do not use this today. I do like me some liquid liners. It's a black felt tip. And I like that. So can't wait to use this. This right here retails for 20 bucks. So honestly, not bad at all. I feel like that's around what you pay for your higher end eyeliner. And then the last product that I got or that I received is the Endota Hydrating Lip Balm. I did use this today. It is thick. It reminded me a little bit of Vaseline. That's how thick it was, but I did not hate it. And it reminds me of the old, like back in the older days, older days, <laughs> back in the early and mid 2000s just that type of lip gloss that we were putting on our lips this type of applicator that's what it reminded me of but it is super thick as you can see i love this mint green packaging i don't know just lately i've been into green so i'm just in love with this but anyway that is all i got you guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye you guys